your listening ears are on and your talking voices are off, I'm going to ask you some questions because we've been talking a lot this week about Jesus blesses the what? The children, right? What is a blessing? You know what? Let me, before we get started, a lot of you have been doing a lot of, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did anybody say God bless? Yeah, when somebody sneezes. I said that to Joey a little while. Right before we came over here, I said, God bless you. Do you know where that saying came from? A long, 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 long time ago, there was somebody called Pope Gregory. And a pope is like a pastor. But they were really worried because they didn't have good doctors back then. Like a pastor. But they were really, really, really worried because back then, a long, long, long time ago, they did not have good doctors And they thought if somebody sneezed, they needed to say, God bless you. And that would make them feel better. So that's where that came from. When somebody sneezes, we say, God bless you. What does this mean? Bless. What are my letters, guys? Bless. What does that mean? We we talked about it, right? We talked about it. I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? Blessings are things that Jesus gives us, right? Blessings are things that Jesus gives us that we are thankful for. Are any of us thankful for that we have a nice home that gives us heat when we're cold and and air conditioning when we're hot? That's a blessing, right? How about our family Are we blessed to have a mommy or a daddy to take care of us, right? That is a blessing. How about, do your moms and dads give you food? That's a blessing to have, right? What about our friends? Do we have friends? That's a blessing to have. How many of you have clothes? You do. I'm glad you have clothes. A million clothes? That's a blessing, right? And even having toys are a blessing, right? A thousand toys. I have a million clothes and a million toys. I'm sure you all do. So in our Bible lesson, Jesus, here he is. Let's say hello, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. He was in Jerusalem one day, and there was a lot of crowds around him. No, there was a lot of people around him and they brought their children because Jesus was blessing everybody that was not feeling well. He would go over to them and he would bless them. He would lay hands on their head and bless them. And all of a sudden the mommies were going to Jesus and bringing all of the children to Jesus wanting Jesus to bless them. And the disciples, who are the disciples? All these guys. All these guys, the disciples were Jesus' what? His best friends. friends, right? And there was 12 of them, and they all went over to Jesus, and they said, Jesus, no, you cannot stop doing that. You are just too busy. These children cannot be bothering you. And Jesus said to his disciples, no. And what did he say? Let the little children come to me. Because Jesus loves the children so much. He says the children need to come to me. And that all the adults, all the, all the adults need to be like the children. They need to ask questions like you do all the time. What about Jesus? Who was his mommy? Where was he born? All of these things. They have to be like the little children and love Jesus because Jesus loves you so much. Jesus gives us so many blessings that they overflow. Do you know what overflow means? Have you ever filled up a cup with water in the classroom, your water jug? And what happens? And you fill it up too much? And it spills over. It overflows. Do you know what? God's blessing is like that. And I'm going to show you. So I'm going to pretend that these are God's blessings in here. This is a small can. Do you think I'll be able to fill that, that glass? 
Do you think it'll overflow? It doesn't look like there's much in here. It doesn't look like there's much. In, so it won't overflow it. But if this was God's blessings and God is going to give me his blessings and they start giving me blessings and more blessings of good health, of him loving me and him giving me a house to live in and he gives me more and more and more and more blessings and he gives me food to eat and he gives me clothes to wear. He gives me parents that love me. He gives me friends. He gives me children that bring me flowers. He gives and gives and gives and gives and gives. God's love and Jesus' love is overflowing. It never, ever stops. He loves us so, so much. You may think it's just a little bit, but God's love and Jesus' love is so, so, so much. He loves us this much that he opened up his arms and he died for us. I'm going to put this over here, guys. I just want you to understand that Jesus loves you so much that his blessings will never, ever stop. Can we pray about that? Okay. Dear God, we are so thankful for Jesus and all the blessings that he gives us. And we're thankful that he wants the children to know him. It's so important, Lord, that they know you and that they have you in their hearts. And Lord, we just give you all praise and honor and glory. And all of God's children said, amen. amen.